The vast majority of bronchoscopic procedures can be performed under local anesthesia. Local anesthesia, when applied adequately, results in complete loss of mucosal sensitivity and gag reflex. Here, we show how local anesthesia is applied prior to a diagnostic bronchoscopy. Because patients are often anxious about a bronchoscopy, it is important to make the patient feel at ease. This can be achieved by a few simple measures. First, it is important that the room is quiet when the patient enters. Second, the patient should be seated comfortably, and most importantly, the nurse should be well prepared and have all the necessary medication and equipment within reach. Once at ease, the nurse checks whether the patient has any removable dentures. A face mask is always worn because the patient can cough during the procedure. A towel is placed on the patient to prevent soiling. The patient's head is tilted slightly backwards, and with a nebulizer, the nurse gently applies a 1% lidocaine solution to the nose several times. This is followed by a 10% lidocaine spray. Subsequently, the tongue, palate and pharynx are anesthetized with the 1% lidocaine solution. To eliminate the gag reflex, the posterior pharyngeal wall is thoroughly anesthetized. In order to adequately reach the posterior pharyngeal wall, the patient is asked to gently pull out their tongue with the help of a gauze. Subsequently, the 10% lidocaine spray is applied to the posterior pharyngeal wall. Then the nurse calls the doctor, who checks to what extent the patient is anesthetized. This is done by applying one or two sprays of 10% lidocaine to the posterior pharyngeal wall. Finally, a syringe is used to apply one milliliter of 1% lidocaine solution to the vocal cords. The patient is now adequately anesthetized and ready for their bronchoscopy.